This is a car. Many of you drive cars and you need to know how to maintain them. We'll start with one of the most important safety features on your car, the tires. The way you know if your tire is good is by checking the tread depth. You want the base of the tread and the top of the tread not to be less than 4 30 seconds of an inch. There are many different types of tires for many different applications, whether that's off-roading, on-road use, all-season or winter tires. One way you can measure your tread depth to know if your tire is good is using a tread depth gauge. You can also use a penny if you don't have one of these. Just make sure that Lincoln's head touches the top of your tread and you're good. The wiper blades on your car are consumables, which means you will have to replace them every now and then. The amount of times and the method to replace them varies by your type of vehicle. If you notice your wiper blades aren't working as well, you can try cleaning them off with a paper towel just by lifting them up and wiping down the edge. Or if that doesn't help, you can consult your local auto parts store and they'll help you out. Many new car owners may be intimidated by what's under the hood of their car, but really it's pretty simple and there's only a couple things you need to know. Let's start off with how to pop the hood. In most cars, there's a simple lever either here or here. In this car, it's labeled hood. You just pull towards you, and it pops. After you pop the hood, you come around the front, you pull it up, and there's gonna be another latch somewhere under here. In this vehicle, it's right here. Push it in, and then you can lift the hood. For some cars, they will have struts, but older cars like this one have a, have a hood prop that you have to put up yourself. There's only a couple things under here that we really need to worry about. This right here is your washer fluid. This is what sprays up onto your windshield to clean it off. All you do is pop the cap, and pour in the manufacturer's recommended washer fluid. This is the battery. If your battery isn't working, it can cause your car not to start, it can cause other things not to work. So that's one of the first things you should check if something goes wrong. The next thing we'll talk about is the oil. The oil runs through your engine and it's important to change it every five to 7,000 miles. You can check your oil really easily by looking for a small yellow pull tab. You pull it out and this is your dipstick. All you need to do is take a tissue or a paper towel, wipe it off, and check the color of your oil. If it looks good, it should be oil colored. You can then insert the dipstick back in, all the way, back out again. Make sure you have enough oil, it will be in between the minimum and the maximum recommended levels. Be sure to follow your manufacturer's recommended intervals for changing your oil and getting your oil filter replaced. You can call them or you can consult your owner's manual. Here is your radiator and coolant reservoir. You want to make sure your coolant levels stay topped up to the recommended levels. There's different levels for when the vehicle is hot or cold, so be sure to check your temperature gauge. It's super easy to fill it up right at the cap. Taking care of these simple things can keep your vehicle running for longer and running safer. This has been Callan Donaldson reporting for Laker Update.